Intel's new Battlemage GPUs are a wake-up call for an industry that's grown far too comfortable continuously increasing prices while giving what feels like less and less to their customers. Let's talk about it. Before that, if you just built or bought a new PC and you don't want to spend $200 on a Windows 11 Pro license, well, thankfully, VIP CDK Deals has just what you need, offering excellent prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 or 11 Pro OEM key for a great deal. Just find the best price in a Apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off, bringing the total to just $23 for Windows 11 and $17 for Windows 10, and you can even find great deals on products such as Office 2019. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate your new copy of Windows, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you wanna learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. I remember when I seriously got into PC gaming back during the release of the NVIDIA GTX 600 series, a time where you could pick up a GTX 660 for just $229, and while it did only have two gigabytes of VRAM, back in 2012, more than 12 years ago, that was actually enough to play most games. But this marked the beginning of a dismal trend of stagnation as the following two generations would still only offer two gigabytes of VRAM on their car cards, and the price to performance just didn't seem to be increasing at the same rate of more expensive cards. It's almost as if Nvidia wants the 60 class to improve less every generation in an attempt to possibly upsell potential buyers on more expensive cards to increase their profit margins and appease investors rather than deliver a great value product to their customers. But I don't know, that's just a wild theory. What's clear to me though is this issue of less and less enticing cards cards in an affordable price range seems to be getting worse. Today, Nvidia is still offering buyers what I would say is a mediocre upgrade over the 3060 with their RTX 4060, but shockingly, instead of offering more or even the same amount of VRAM, they've actually reduced the memory from 12 to 8 gigabytes while retaining a $300 plus price point on most AIB models, which is insane. In some cases, where 8 gigabytes isn't enough, which is becoming increasingly more common, the 3060 12 gigabyte could even match or beat the performance and or fluidity of an RTX 4060, the card that's supposed to be replacing it with its anemic memory system. But thankfully, as gamers, we finally have a third competitor, as let's be honest, AMD really hasn't offered too much better in recent years, and that company is Intel. For many of us, the thought of Intel offering the best value value GPUs was almost unthinkable after the years of quad cores at high oh. prices they offered with their CPUs before being forced into gear by AMD with their Ryzen processors. But it's true, Intel is here and they're actually bringing serious competition, which not only challenges current offerings, but decimates them in terms of price to performance. And it's clear to me, gamers have been waiting for a day like this as the new Intel Arc B580 has already completely sold out before its official launch. The reason why is because not only is Intel offering 12 gigabytes of high-speed GDDR6 memory on their new card, something that Nvidia isn't, but according to their performance numbers, it should deliver roughly 10% higher performance than the RTX 4060 while coming in at just $250. So you're getting more VRAM, more performance, and a much lower price while getting all the same benefits such as advanced AI capabilities, upscaling and even frame generation now. Plus, you actually get new DisplayPort technologies such as DisplayPort 2.1 while Nvidia is offering an ancient 1.4 connector on their cards, and this is gonna allow Intel to potentially have more high quality monitor options that Nvidia may struggle to support in the future. We're talking about a GPU that is completely and utterly outclassing the RTX 4060, exceeding its capabilities while offering over 33% better price to performance. And this is just the beginning of what Intel's new Battlemage GPUs could offer as rumors suggest far more powerful cards could be on the way. And with Intel working around the clock to improve their drivers on their first generation of GPUs, this should be a real wake up call to Nvidia and AMD who have been giving what seems like less and less to their customers 
for far too long. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Intel's new GPUs are actually gonna offer far better price to performance and match Nvidia on features? Or do you think they're gonna fall short in one way or another? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And also let me know which GPU you're looking forward to most in 2025. By the way, I will have affiliate links to all of Intel's GPUs if they happen to come back in stock. You might wanna check that. And if you do agree with anything that I've said in this video, I would highly appreciate it if you guys would share this with friends and family or post it on social media but that's going to do it for this one and i'll see you guys in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like also if you want to see more check out one of these related videos you won't be disappointed